Hey, this is George Mazzell again, coming back to help you on a little bit more science. I told you last time in the first video on our overview that we'd be coming back and going through these passages. This is going to be passage one, and it's in the test booklet that I told you to go ahead and get from your guidance counselors. If you've got this test booklet on hand, we'll be going through this in just a minute. I always like to start off with just a little bit of a recap on what we covered last time. We talked a little bit about the reading speed and how important it is to get our speed ramped up. We went over decision making. We've got to be able to go through and make up our mind. I'll be going through these answers and we'll look through this passage and see how we find the information to answer these questions and be confident that the answer we gave is correct. The next thing is we want to make sure when we're practicing by ourselves that we practice and watch these time limits. Basically, it's one minute less than the number of questions, and you should be able to finish the test on time, and you should have plenty of time to answer the questions. Well, I won't say plenty of time. You should have enough time to answer the questions. What I'm going to do now is let's flip to this first passage in your test book that should be the one talking about the bacteria containing plasmids. Now, I'm going to be stopping and sort of annotating as we go along some of the things that the ACT, the way you look at this test, the way the ACT wants you to see it so that you can do well on this test. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get started with passage one. This is on page 42 in your book. It's the one about the bacterium. Let's see what it says. It says, many bacteria contain plasmids, and it thinks you may not know what that is, so it gives you the definition in parentheses here. Small circular DNA molecules. Plasmids can be transferred from one bacterium to another. For this to occur, the plasmid replicates, which means produces a linear copy of itself. The, re the relative position of the genes is the same as on the original plasmid and on the linear copy, except the two ends of the linear copy do not immediately connect. While replication is occurring, one end of the linear copy leaves the donor bacterium and enters the recipient bacterium. Thus, the order in which the genes replicate is the same as the order in which they are transferred. Unless the process is interrupted, the entire plasmid is transferred and its two ends connect in the recipient bacterium. Four students studied the way in which six genes, F, X, R, S, A, and G, on a specific plasmid were donated by a type of bacterium see the figure. And you look at the picture and you see how they've got it drawn in a little circle like a little hula hoop or something. The students determined that the entire plasmid is transferred in 90 minutes and that the rate of transfer is constant. They also determined that the genes are evenly spaced around the plasmid, so one gene is transferred every 15 minutes. They disagreed, however, on the order in which the genes are replicated and thus transferred. So right now you ought to be able to know this is what this passage is going to be about, is it's going to be talking about the order in which the genes are replicated. So when we're reading through these different opinions and how the students viewed this, you want to be looking for something about their replication order and process. Student 1 says replication always begins between F and X. You might want to go down between F and X and put a little 1 there, just to let you know that's student 1. And if gene X is or tells us gene X is replicated first and gene F is replicated last. Student 2. Student 2 says replication always begins between gene F and gene X. However, the direction of replication varies. If gene F is replicated first, gene X is replicated last. Conversely, if gene X is replicated first, gene F is replicated last. Student 3, replication can begin between any two genes. He doesn't care which two it is. Replication then proceeds around the plasma in a clockwise direction with respect to the figure. So you might want to come down here and stop and put a little three on this and show that it goes in a clockwise direction. Just something to keep you on track as to what you're, what's happening here. And then it tells us thus, if gene S is replicated first in student three, then gene A is replicated second and R will be replicated last. Student 4 says replication can begin between any two genes, just like student 3 did. Likewise, replication can proceed in either direction. Remember, that's the difference. Student 3 says it only goes clockwise. Student 4 says it can go in either direction. So the order of replication varies. Now let's see what the questions ask us. Number 1 says, based on the information presented, if the transfer of the linear copy was interrupted 50 minutes after the transfer began, how many complete genes would have been transferred to the recipient bacterium? Now when you see this is 50 minutes, remember, 15 minutes per transfer. So three copies would have been made. Okay, how many would have been made? Three. Number two, based on a model presented by student three, remember student three, clockwise direction, begin between any two genes. If all six genes are replicated and the first gene replicated is G, the third gene replicated would be what? So we come over here and put our finger on G. That is the first one. F would be second. X would be third, going in a clockwise direction. 
Now we look at passage four, question four, three. Sorry about that, question three. Which students believe that any of the six genes on the plasmid can be the first gene transferred to a recipient bacterium? Well, we've already noted that. Students three and four said it can begin between any two. So obviously, students, the answer is C. Now we go to passage four. Passage four. Suppose that the model presented by student one is correct and the transfer of genes between two bacteria was interrupted after 45 minutes. Based on the information provided, which of the following genes would not have been transferred from the donor bacterium to the recipient bacterium? Okay, student one, start between F and X. So we flip over to our chart here, F and X. X is replicated first, that's 15 minutes. Then we go to 30 minutes with R, 45 minutes with S. Okay, that's the ones that would have been transferred. Now we look at our list. Gene G would not have been transferred. X would have been, R would have, and S would have. So it has to be F. Gene G is the one not transferred. Now we go to question five. Suppose the student two's model is correct and the transfer of genes between two bacteria is interrupted after 30 minutes. Under these conditions, which of the following genes would definitely not, and it's in capitals, make sure you don't miss this, be transferred from the donor bacterium to the recipient bacterium. Okay, so student two says it starts between F and X, but it can go in either direction. So if it's gonna be stopped after 30 minutes, that means two genes are gonna be transferred. We go between F and X. If X is replicated first, then gene R is replicated second after 30 minutes. If you go with F first, then G is replicated after 30 minutes. So gene S and A really wouldn't be replicated, but they don't give you S as an answer choice. All you have is A is the choice. So the answer is A, gene A. Number six, suppose that all six genes are transferred from a donor bacterium to a recipient bacterium. Under this condition, which student or students would argue that gene A could be the last gene transferred? Well, if you look back to student one and two, they both say F and X is where it starts. And student one says that gene F is replicated last. Well, student two says that it's either gonna be F or X depending on which way it goes. So it can't be one or two. Now you look down, your only other choice is students three and four. If you look, it's, they say that it can start between any two bacterium, so that would be the one. Number seven, suppose the transfer of genes between two bacteria was interrupted. The last gene transferred was gene A, and no incomplete copies of the gene were transferred. Based on this information, student one would say the transfer was most likely interrupted after how many minutes from the moment when the transfer began. So you're talking about student one, and he says A is the last one transferred. So we come over here between F and X. X is first, one, that's 15 minutes. R is 30 minutes, S is 45 and A is after 60 minutes. So 60 minutes is the answer. Okay, hopefully this one has helped you. We're fixing to flip over and do the second one. When I get started on that, on the second video clip, look for that. Remember, we're trying to walk through this test on each type of passage and give you a feel for what it's like. Make sure if you don't have a copy of this booklet, you get a copy of this booklet from your guidance counselor or the ACT. This is, a, this is what we're going by, and it really helps if you have it and can read along. You may even want to do the passage first yourself and then watch the video and see how we go through it. Take a look at it. All right, we'll see you on passage two. Thanks.